Now it's time for a little bit of the cabin, half cash, with no monkey knowledge. We're gonna head over here with Quincy and get a few dart monkeys out on the field. This little rock right here is to tell you where to place your dart monkey. And we're gonna begin. There's just something about this spot here. We do still leak a little tiny bit, but that's okay. We just need to get to 215 again so we can place a dart monkey right on over here. And here comes the painful leak. Oh, there it is. And then this dart monkey goes right over here by this rock. And now we're going to save up for 585 as we do need Quincy's help in our mission here today. But I do like this particular setup right here. As you can see, there is a lot of space between these two dart monkeys and they get a look here all the way around, another look, a look here and then all the way around and one final look here. I just wish there was a good two look placement up here. As you can see these, you know, higher level balloons come in, get a ton of value as they move really quickly, which is pretty hard to deal with. We are going to leak down to at least 50, sometimes even a little more. And the big bummer about this round right here is we can't get Quincy down before the end of the round. So we leak a little more again. You can see we're just barely not at 585 here. Such a bummer. We're going to place Quincy down right on over here. This is my territory. Basically anywhere kind of in this area where Quincy can see things twice. And we're not, you know, getting blocked vision over here through this tree. Yes. Here the fun is really going to begin as we save up for our monkey sub. Monkey Sub is our carry here. It really wanted us to use the water, so we are going to. Bring them. We want this Monkey Sub to have vision on both here, so right about there is good. You can see it's getting two looks, which is super nice. It's what we like. We're going to save up for Twin Guns. use Quincy's ability there a little late, but it's okay. Wake up! Yes. We can just a little tiny bit more there again. Now that we have twin guns, the leaking should probably stop. Unless our placement is off just a little tiny bit, which sometimes that does happen. go. We need the advanced intel as that's the main value of this monkey sub right here. Bring it's doing quite a bit of popping for us. Already popping more than most other things. We're going to use Quincy's ability here in round 22. Now we have a 201 sub. This camo is visible to Quincy because we got Quincy so early.
and we would like to save up for air burst starts here, but we can't, right? We see we're pretty close to round 28. We're going to have a pretty chaotic little round here. Sometimes you need to use Quincy's ability. Try not to use it if you don't have to. There we go. I think we're going to be just fine. Monkey sub doing work. We're going to place this right over here. Doesn't need to be too close. It's actually better if it's not. We get more vision from the monkey sub. Just make sure that this is on strong. As in round 28, there's going to be those libloons. We're going to use Quincy's ability here, though. Bring them. We get just a little bit of room to breathe. Now we can save it for the airburst starts. Airburst starts are quite important for us. We really struggle for popping power at this point, but luckily it's going to give us another lead balloon round here to make sure we really understand the game, which we do. Coming up here, we're going to need to use Quincy's ability. I guess we got a little luckier there in terms of what was hit. As we didn't need to use Quincy's ability. More. Now we're saving up for triple guns. We want to get as much value as we can out of this little monkey sub as it's pretty much where all of our money went. Here comes the balloons. Now we have triple guns, and we'll never have enough for armor-piercing darts, but that's okay. We're now going to sell this dart monkey here, and buy a sniper monkey right like so. Set that to strong. And we're going to start upgrading it. It should be 101. To 102 here. But sadly, we don't have enough to upgrade it anymore. We're going to upgrade this over here instead. One, one, or two, one, actually. Get ready to feast. You can see we're very happy with that. Use Quincy's ability there to not leak. And we're saving up for a Berserker Brew now. Because it's our only hope to not die here. Tried quite a bit of extra things here. None of them worked quite as well. Quincy giving us that invisible vision there. Here I had a tough decision. Do I want to get the stronger stimulant or the armor-piercing darts? And I definitely felt like the armor-piercing darts just does so much more for us. Stronger stimulant, though, is a nice next thing to get. Here we go. Look at us go. Tasty. Your Quincy's just saving us. 585 for, you know, 
camo vision is pretty good in half cash, it turns out. Now we're going to place a monkey sub right over here. See all this nice coverage. Advanced intel. And air burst starts. Triple guns. And then it's time for an alchemist. Right like so. The alchemist we want to put all the way over toward the water. Set it to strong. Start buffing this one up right here. Berserker brew. And then some stronger acid here. Boom, 3 2. This is all good to go now. We do, however, need to address the ever-increasing camo situation, which we can do right like so. Boom. Boom, and then one more. And we can save up for the Bluntonium Reactor, which I originally thought Bluntonium Reactor was completely unviable after all the nerfs it received, but it's still pretty good here. We get a lot of coverage all the way through here, and we get to just barely touch stuff down here. We do, however, need to upgrade this path now to pop lead blooms, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's livable, you know? Even on half cash, still very livable. Now we're going to need some more Moab popping power, so we're going to upgrade the armor piercing darts here. The true test, right? But we actually crush it, right? Look how much power we have with just this. Armor piercing darts are quite good, huh? There we go. Tons of stacked balloons are starting to come our way. What do we do? Well, we get a bomb shooter. We don't want it to take this alchemist's throws just yet. That would be bad for us. We are going to upgrade this to two very quickly here. Get some frag bombs going. Bottom tree is really nice here. Cluster bombs are great. So cost effective. Now we just need to save up for the recursive cluster. I really think Recursive Cluster is probably the best late game solution in half cash right now. Especially with, you know, the nerfs to the Boomerang Monkey as well as Necromancer. They're really targeting us here who are trying to abuse half cash. Today they did change Moab domination from 60k to 50k, so it's still not usable, which is great. I just don't think you can even argue that it's viable in chimps.
This bomb shooter is doing a ton of work for us. Oops, I was going to place another bomb shooter. Right like so. Again, we don't really want it to bother our alchemist here. This alchemist is really important to throw here. Really, this bomb shooter is kind of gold plating. I don't think too much is going to get down to it. But if it does, it's going to get bombed. Or bomb shootered. I'm not sure how to verbiage plays out there. We don't really need the recursive cluster. I think actually it's better to get the large caliber here. And this sniper monkey just does so much more work. We should be able to get deadly precision right at around, around 79.80 if everything goes our way. These couple rounds here don't have a lot of money in them because they're just mobs. And mobs actually don't provide a lot of money. The money rounds are the ones where you have like 20 ceramics stacked on each other. Well, this is definitely one of the maps where Quincy does so little for us other than provide that camo vision. I mean, 2,000 pops. I, um... You know, I use Quincy because I like to use heroes that don't require you to buy them. Uh, if you do have Sada, the knife-wielding hero, you can put her right here. And oof, this level is a lot easier, trust me. I'm going to go ahead and get this deadly precision here. It looks like we're going to have enough money to also get stronger stimulant, which is nice to have on this. Just curious what pops the most. We have 9,000 here. Oh, that's 90,000. That might be our winner. 16,000, so Bluntonium Reactor still still pretty okay. 65,000, quite nice. That's 127,000, which is quite interesting. Which means it popped around 30,000 in the time between the two subs being placed. Well, it's been around a little longer than this one has. And there's round 80. 3k cash floating as well. No monkey knowledge. Quite the hard map though. Definitely some struggles.